it's wicked awesome with you guys to join me for another episode of uh, my book review channel. I got one that's a little different today. It took me by surprise. I, I decided to read it just kind of by chance, but it's called The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. I'd never even heard of this woman before, so that's kind of the reason I wanted to read it and see if she was really good. So then when I went on her Amazon page later on, I discovered she's got a lot of books. She's got about five or six, so I'm eager to get back to more of them. There's too many authors in the world, so I'm not going to get to her right away again, but this book commanded my attention. It was wonderful. So I'm reviewing it, and she's got a fan for life now. I'll probably read anything she comes out with. So the reason I say that is because I'm a literary fan, as you guys who have been watching this channel for a while know. But this book wasn't literary. However, it starts off 28 years in the past, and it deals with these young girls, Charlie and her older sister, Sam, who are 13 and 15. And their father is the local lawyer, and he... He pretty much just makes his money by getting degenerates out of trouble with the law. People that deserve, honestly, to be in prison. He gets rapists off, uh, bank robbers, just horrible people. He represents them. and Honestly, you kind of get a little a feeling of why he does this towards the end of the book. But for the purposes of this review, what happens is someone had lit their house on fire with Molotov cocktails. And they were forced to move in the outskirts of town into... This old farmhouse, and the girls hate it. Their mother hates it. But what are you going to do? Your family, you stick together. So while they're waiting for their father to come home from a day at the office, these two gentlemen, who one of them fears that since the guy's kind of run into some hard times, a lawyer, that he's going to come after this guy because he represented this guy and got him off on a rape charge in the past. So this guy thinks he's going to come after him for the $20,000 he owes him for his legal fees. Unfortunately, when he gets there, it's just the girls and the mother that are home. So he murders the, the mother in front of the two kids. And then he takes them out into the woods at gunpoint where they already had a grave dug out in the woods for the two girls. So they shoot the older sister in the head. She falls into the, into the grave and the little one runs. So luckily, she's able to get to the neighbor's house, and she's, she's saved. So her and the father survive. So then we go 28 years into the future, and so far th this book is, is pretty much labeled a thriller, but I'll tell you what, it's, it, it's, it's literary in some aspects because of the way that they develop the characters, the way that they develop the town. I mean, Karen, Karen Slar just did a killer job really just going through the emotions of every character involved in this book. So, now that we're in the future, it starts off with Charlie now as an adult. And she's kind of in a strange marriage with this nice gentleman named Ben. She doesn't know why she acts the way she does. Uh, we soon learn later in the book it has something to do with her traumatic childhood. But she's cheating on him with this other gentleman. So, she goes to his work to return something that he forgot at her place when they slept together the night before. And while she's there, a school shooting takes place. So we also learn that Charlie is now a lawyer. She's taken up the, her father's footsteps, and she's representing some weird people. So her father takes on the case of the girl that was caught with the pistol in her hand, the one that was doing the shooting. And this story just goes back and forth from the present of them trying to represent this girl that's being accused of these school murdering. Uh, the principal was murdered. And a very young girl. It took place in an elementary school, but it was a high school girl that is being accused of the murders. The police in this town aren't very cooperative. The the guy that Charlie was sleeping with is he has he plays an incredible role in this entire story. And it I just don't know how to explain it good enough. It was just that good of a damn book. And if I say too much, because there was just Every chapter had a crazy twist and turn in it that if I explained too much, what the hell would you even want to read it for? You know, you'll already know everything. But this book, guys, I gotta leave I gotta leave a link for it in the description below. It, read it for yourself and find out why I'm leaving it a five star review on Amazon. I'm gonna leave it a five star review probably on Bookbub and Goodreads too. So I'm a writer myself. You guys know that by now. I got a book named Corpse Lily coming out, and me and some fellow writers over at Rhetoric Askew. Publishing, 
we're getting involved in a box set trying to hopefully get to the USA Today bestsellers list. So hopefully I'll be able to slap the USA Today label on my book, Corpse Lily, when it comes out. But I'll tell you guys, um, I can only hope to write as good as this as this Karen Slaughter woman. If, if, uh, if somebody else likes the my book as much as I enjoyed this one, I'm doing an all right job. Because I checked out a few other people who reviewed this book, and I read some other reviews on Amazon, and people are praising this. There's another YouTube book reviewer that said this was... This is her favorite author now because of this book. And I won't go that far. She's not my favorite. But I was damn impressed, and I wanted to give her some credit today. So, please, this isn't someone that you hear of every day. Her name's not all lit up on, on billboards or anything else, but she deserves you to give her a shot. So, Karen Slaughter, the good daughter. Guys, I'll leave you with that today. I got a lot going on, but you could have checked out any book review channel. For some reason, you checked out mine. I love the hell out of you for We'll catch you later, guys.